Okay, Karen, good writing, good job, good job. This describes a lot. I, I think this this helps me. Thank you. I got the composition up right here. Okay, I you know I, I gotta say I think I, I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference here between the last iteration. So I think maybe some of these comments maybe review. Um, so please just bear with me if they are. I I, I I'm, I'm not exactly. I'm, I I remember the one the last one very clearly, but. Let's let's think about some things here. Okay, so I've got a couple of recommendations I think are going to work quite quite well. Okay, so let's start from the top. Let's talk about the um, the um, um, typography. Um, right now, I, I think that I, this 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 uh, uh, is a good typeface, but it's too small. I, I, I do. I really think it's too small. One thing that you could do to to increase the size here is is take the A, maybe make it a lowercase A, and maybe put it right up here or even right here. And then you can select the whole thing, and and so you have instead of a Christmas girl, you have a smaller a right there, a Christmas girl. Add a little interest to the typographic composition, and then increase the the size of this. And watch my cursor. I think it should be about something like this, about like that. And then also, a great idea would be to try to add some color to that. I think right now it's begging for color. By Charles Dickens, I would I would not use that typeface. I would use a different typeface. I love the right alignment. I think that's fantastic. Again, what you can do is reduce the size of by just to reduce a little emphasis there. And then that's what we're doing over here, reducing the emphasis a little bit there and the byline as well. Okay, so I, yeah, different different typeface there, um, I recommend. Okay, as far as the composition itself goes, I, I see some damage around. I think that the, the way that this is situated, this main house, I think it's really cool. It, it looks great. Um, but there's some damage around. You can clearly see where it's placed. You see that right there? See that darker shadow around there? And then there's some, some kind of weird shadows down here. But this right around here, this whole kind of dark glow, indicates that that's been placed. And I think that other than that, I mean, the, the snow works. I would try to match the color on the snow of the house with the color of the snow in the background. Um, that's an interesting technique. So that's okay, right? A little bit of work there. Um, the Christmas tree itself, I think we try to make a little bit more of a, 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 a this looks like it's been placed. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to work with saturation. We want to do some adjustment layers, maybe desaturate that a little bit to get it to look a little bit more like it's actually in those among those trees as opposed to uh, it's got so much color as compared to the background that I think this see how this is kind of stripped of color because it's again it's a winter scene we want to kind of do the same thing with this now granted yes there is color in there but right now it's oversaturated and it's not saturated much but nonetheless the background that it's on is a very desaturated almost black and white so we want to kind of reduce the, the saturation of the Christmas tree just to make it fit a little bit more believably and then my final comment is this this house is really needs some perspective I mean if this this just looks like it's everything is facing an angle in the composition, right? Trees are this way. The house is kind of at this, this kind of perspective. These guys are at this perspective. This one is kind of this perspective. And this one is just dead on center. So it's definitely in need of some attention in that regard. What I would recommend is using the transform and, and the, the uh, transform commands or the specifically the warp um, and distort tools. Um, all under transform, and and you can try to just kind of get this on the kind of same angle that they are. Not exactly, but something less than just dead center, straight forward from, from the focal point. Let's get that on some sort of an angle. And you can do it with those those perspective and distort tools. So, all right, and that is really all I have. Other than that, I, I love it. I think one other final recommendation, once everything is said and done, is to put a white kind of like a uh, vignette on here, like uh, faded out to, to white, the corners are kind of fading out like that. So just that the, the corners are a little faded out, so it gradates to pure white right about there, but it kind of just gets levels of transparency. It's called a vignette. It's really easy to do in Photoshop. If you just do a quick web, web search, how to add a vignette to a Photoshop composition, it's really easy to do. Simple. And I think it might add a lot of visual interest here. Okay. Uh, great job. Any questions at all, please let me know, but I'm, I'm loving the direction. Okay. Good job.